here is um, Web3D, right? It's a consortium group of people whose aim is to have actually a three-dimensional display of data approved as a standard into HTML5. They, in my own words, probably, yeah. So, so, and they are already pretty far and they have a perfectly working implementation of the standard. And I really believe it's a matter of very short time before we get in HTML5 nodes for 3D display similar like SVG for uh, vector graphics. Now, one, they actually have two separate implementation for three-dimensional graphics. I have chosen to uh, show you X Freedom, as they call it, and it's um, JavaScript based implementation. It's very simple. All you need to do to use it is include a, a JavaScript in your uh, web page and one custom style sheet, uh, cascading style sheet um, file. That's all there is to it. And that makes it possible for you to use this, this, the, these 3D definitions on your web page. So with no further delay, this is my very simple file maker file. Okay, I have, uh, oh, it's better like that. This whole thing took me two hours to put together including learning what actually uh, X3 DOM is, right? So that's very efficient. So what I have done here, I have uh, always, um, my main record is a 3D scene. Here is a portal, each line uh, represents an element in my 3D scene. I have several options, just pretty much basic ones. And I have said, all right, I'm gonna put here the position and the color all that can be uh, configured. So I started to play with it and yeah, here we are. Wait, um, there is, I can't grab my screen. Wait, why is that? Because I'm sharing and I can't grab the content of my, wait, wait, wait. Ah, okay, so see, we have a nice donut here, and it's all FileMaker and this here. This is the whole web page for the donut. The node X3D is uh, uh, it's actually a container for your whole scene. Then the node scene uh, follows transformation. You say what shape you want to have, what is the material, and what yeah here in transformation, uh, transform translation. That's the position, and there we go. It's really very simple and very nice. So I played with it slightly more. I have uh, created some uh, simpler shapes for my kids. They found it uh, great, like that. I went on to make an ice cream for them as they called it. And this is all just by yeah, putting together three uh, elements, giving them position and changing the color. The number four, I made a very small and very basic map of the stars uh, of uh, the star system in the vicinity of sun. You can see here their names as well. Um, it would be peanuts to add some colors, sizes, and all that stuff. So this is clearly a very simple web viewer with a very simple code, and it can get you to display 3D data natively in your application. Very cool, I think. And I'm going to show you some examples that uh, what people have achieved with this. Okay. Can you see the cathedral here? This all is just X Freedom, X Freedom. Hmm? Uh, XML nodes in HTML, of course, 
with uh, textures and all that stuff, it gets complicated when you want to create something like that. But maybe, yeah, I actually, I forgot to point it out. So let me just go back to the data viewer. Um, here is the code, yeah. This is the JavaScript you need to have on your page. And this is the cascading style sheet. There's nothing more to it. You're free to go and yeah? see. I have dynamically built the scene, for scene from the related records of the scene. And just um, my time is almost up. So let me show you another example. Look at that. Animations, the water is uh, done quite well. The chopper is about to lift off. This is really not uh, some kind of a, a niche uh, technology. This is really production ready. Yeah, so I immediately thought of uh, two use cases, business use cases. Uh, one is the warehouse uh, where I have all my uh, data of where um, inventory is stacked on pallets and you could actually do a 3D of this uh, and hover over and see inventory probably, you could work that out. And then the second is a um, container pallet calculator that I built that they asked eventually if we could get some 3D uh, representations on, uh, so. Well, if this helps you, I'm only glad. Yeah, I mean, I also, I, and I assume it's not so difficult to have you click the helicopter and then, then that opens the runs the file maker script you want. Yeah, it is interactive. Yeah, so you can, yeah, yeah. You can have exactly. uh, mouse events on your uh, items. Yeah. Uh, if I show you, I did not link it back to my file maker example, but you can see that you're even out of the box, your scene is quite interactive. Huh? You can move your center, you can actually um, with a right click, uh, if enabled, you can get all the settings of your scene. Users can mm -hmm. adjust it. They can play with lighting and all that stuff. So just one detail, I downloaded the file you uploaded. Yep. And it's got the calculation results set to numbers, so it doesn't work. You need to switch that to text and then the web viewer source works. Sorry, my bad. No, I must. <laughs> That's fine. That's, yeah. why, that's why we shouldn't have a default calculation results in, in the calculation field. It should be always set explicitly. Okay. Sorry. Thanks. All right. Uh, that's uh, my 10 minutes. Um, hope it did bring you some interesting insights. Thank you for your Thank attention. you. Thanks for showing that. Yeah.